Hey there gang, Patrick King here coming to you live from Tallahassee, Florida, teaching uh, here this weekend at Equistar Horsemanship in Tallahassee. Today's question comes to us from Sarah, and Sarah sends in, how do I select the right size cinch for my horse? It's a great question. So when we're talking about cinch selection and measuring our cinch, um, it, it's pretty important, I think, to keep at least two points in mind. The first is that they've done studies and they've proven that the, uh, the bulk amount, uh, the, the peak pressure that the horse feels from the cinch actually comes from a point at uh, about level with the elbow and toward the head, actually. We refer to it as the cranial side, so the front uh, of the cinch right at about the level with the elbow. So with that in mind, it's important to make sure that the buckle of our cinch comes higher than that point. Otherwise, that buckle is causing extra pressure where most of the pressure is felt. So that's something to keep in mind there. So we wanna be above that. The other point that we wanna keep in mind, that we wanna consider is if your cinch is so long that it comes up right near your rigging, and I see that fairly commonly. If it's in that position, then you're either gonna be very limited with how much of the latigo you run through your cinch, or you're gonna run so much through it that you're gonna end up with a big fat wad of latigo that's going to be underneath your leg, also creating a big pressure point right there. So that's something that we wanna to try to avoid also. So the real answer to the question is, it's got to lie somewhere in there, okay? I like to have uh, a good two hand widths at least uh, in, in my latigo area between the buckle of my cinch and the rigging of my cinch. So, and that's not, you know, a set measurement or anything like that, but I like to have some good space in there. I find the closer uh, we are up beyond kind of the widest point of our horse's barrel, uh, the farther up we go with the cinch there, I find that the saddle or the cinch seems to be a little bit less stable in that position. Uh, again, there's no science behind that part. That's just my observation through the years. So I try to keep, uh, you know, like I say, a good at least two, maybe three hand widths lower than the rigging on my saddle so that I've got enough that I can run that latigo through maybe two times uh, without creating a big wad or a big bulk underneath my leg and against the horse's barrel. So really anywhere in there is okay. Again, I, I mentioned I think earlier that commonly I see cinches that I would consider to be too long where they come right up against the rigging on the saddle or very close to the rigging on the saddle. Uh, that I find just to be too long because then we end up without being able to use much of our latigo there. Uh, we end up with a potentially a tight wad of the latigo wraps. If we wrap it sufficiently, we want to stay away from that. So keep in mind, above the level of the elbow and a good few inches below the rigging on the saddle. To me, that's going to be the best place there. So hopefully, Sarah, that's been helpful for your question. Uh, and hopefully that's helpful to anybody else out there that's wondering about where the cinch should be sitting in there uh, and you know how to check for that for measurement to see if your cinch is too long or too short. Um, yeah, so a question of the day for you. What's your preferred cinch material? We see all kind out there. Wool. Uh, uh, mohair cinches, felt cinches, uh, neoprene cinches. What's your favorite kind? What do you prefer and why? I want to hear the why. Give me the answer to that in the comment section below this video here. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. Uh, maybe give us a comment. If you think you know somebody who might need to hear this advice, please feel free. Either tag them in the comment section below or share this video directly with them. I really appreciate that. And don't forget, gang, you keep sending in your questions and I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks so much.